When last we left our heroes, Nara the Drow Sorceress, Wolfgang the Angelic Warlock, Asmo the Snackman Fighter, and Denir the Catman Wizard, they traveled to the home of the Duathlun, a clan of Duergar that had settled deep, deep beneath the grounds of Silver Rock in order to vanish, uh, vanquish the Beholder Blinks Toy, who had been controlling them. After, flee, uh, after felling the Voidborn monster and saving a few of the enslaved Duergar, the party was given respite in a craft house while Nara was rewarded with a new outfit. As they explained the uh, harrowing troubles that they went through to the Duergar elders, Denir sent a message to Pogan of the Kylum Diaboli, who was relieved to hear of their success, but left them with the troubling news. Uh, it's wonderful to hear from you. There's been a bit of an upset. Young Gloria hasn't returned from the crypts. And that's the message you're left with, Denier. No. Denier glances over towards Wolfgang and the group. Uh, problems from up above. Apparently, Gloria never came back from her mission down to the crypts. <sighs> Can you get eyes on her? I believe I still have enough juice for it. I'm going to double check, make sure I have a fifth. I do. So I'm going to go ahead and cast grind. I'm going to take my 10 minutes. I'm going to cast grind on Gloria. All right. Uh, visual, I imagine. Uh-huh. She will need to make a... She will need to make a save. How well... Uh, how well do I know of Gloria? Uh, I assume you that, you I met her, her. You met her once at least. Hold on. Uh, you can see or hear a particular creature you choose at the same plane of existence as you. The target must make a wisdom saving throw, which is modified by how well you know the target and a sort of physical connection you have to it. If a target knows you're casting the spell, it can fail the saving throw voluntarily. If it wants to be observed. Uh, since I've met her, there's there's a no modifier to the save that she has to make. So I don't have a likeness, I don't have a possession or garment, and I don't have a piece of her body. So she just has to make a straight DC 17 wisdom save. I don't think she's actually able to. Okay. All right, you uh, begin to cast, and as the swirling mists, uh, I, I, what vessel are you using? Just a crystal ball? Yeah, the crystal ball that I got from Talos. All right, as the swirling mists in the crystal ball uh, slowly begin to paint a picture before your eyes. That's a good one. Uh, that one, maybe. As the image starts to become clear, you begin to see a form shambling in the darkness, clad in silver armor uh, that looks a bit dirtied. Probably from days, maybe even a week of wear. It shambles, carrying a stone, and places it atop a cairn that looks like it had been uh, tilted. You see as the fingers move, the fingers are blackened with like pitch black tips that sort of fade upward toward the palm of the hand as the form turns to adjust another stone you see the eyes are pitch black with an ink like ichor oozing from the bottom of the sockets it moves to pick up another stone and sets it once again atop the cairn that it is attending to. It appears to repeat this action as you watch. 
Mjolnir glances over towards Wolfgang and motions towards the crystal ball. You ever see anything like this? I'll, I'll lean in and I'll look. Um, this, whatever figure we're, that we're seeing, that's not Gloria, is it? As you glance and as the picture becomes clearer, you see the worn silver gold hair that's dirtied with sweat and grime face also uh, that has been kind of like smeared with this ichor it does appear to be her She sits tending to these cairns deep beneath the crypt. That's her. What's she doing? Could I get any indication of what's happened to her based off of what I know of certain creatures? You could give me... Let's see... Either an Arcana check or an Investigation check. I will give you an Investigation check. Any chance I can give advantage? You would have been able to give advantage with the Arcana, but Wolfgang just starts to go through his book. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a 14. With a 14? By her movements, uh, at the very least, she doesn't seem to be dead. It does look as though she is either possessed by something or being controlled by something. Something's wrong with her. I think something might have gotten in her mind. What are those stones she's handling? Uh, anybody in the party can give me a history check. A what? You uh, cut out. Shoot, I hope I'm not doing that for chat. Uh, anybody in the party can give me either a history check or a religion check. They're not the. They're not like shards of the skull, are they? Ooh. Twenty-eight. No, no, they they are they are mundane rock, right? Uh, Twenty four. Mm. Oh, all of us. Uh, anybody who wishes and who is currently paying attention. What were we doing before this? Let me just. <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, you 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 are you are you before I'm in this, my new dress. <laughs> yeah, before this, you were showing off your new dress to uh, Asmo. Oh boy, uh, distracted. All Sorry. Right. Well, between I those just know full well. Between those two roles, uh Denier, you would know that this is a old funeral custom, uh an old way of honoring the dead. Uh it it is something that goes back to even before uh proper civilization, those types of cairns were stacked as a uh memory to the fallen Wolfgang with a religion check, you would know that this particular practice continues to be used under the uh, many of the followers of Silver Rock happen to be uh, devotees to war and this is one of the practices that would be used for fallen soldiers in those cases huh she's Performing funeral rites for fallen warriors. Could be a slain, slain uh, warrior from Silver Rock possessing her, trying to give his their fellow warriors some kind of passing rites, maybe. Whatever's happened to her, it ain't good. (sighs) 
Our mission was what the the crypts and silver rock right yeah <sighs> I'm a little foggy right now I hit in the head with a big bloody rock it was something like that we can get back in time I... go ahead and get uh, either of you can give me a medical check by looking at her you know she was sent down there around the same time that you guys started your mission 15 15 either way the shaking of her body she does look a bit famished she looks like she's been working like this without food for a while Maybe even without water. I might be able to save her if we act fast. Let's gather everyone and get out of here. We're done. It's going to take days for us to get back up there. I can at least let Pogan know what's going uh, on. Uh, hold on, hold on. And, and I, I understand that. We have to have a meeting about this. Just culture this deep down into the dark security risk and also an option but that's for a later conversation there's more immediacy now right and and as this whole time is like talking to everybody gesturing but only looking at nara's outfit <laughs> <laughs> and she is just like giving him the eyes and turning one shoulder the other turning around looking over her shoulder <laughs> i believe we got art I, I believe we got art we did, yeah. Yeah, I got you it. Can, I got it up on screen up, uh... right now. Wonderful, uh, Nick oh, do you? Square. Yeah, who who's this from? Nick at Square. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nikki, I believe. Yeah. Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Yes. So fine they are. So fine. All right. very least i can let pogan know what's going on so if we need to send reinforcements we might be able to do it wait what are we doing uh something went wrong with one of the kylum's missions and uh, one of the uh one of our warriors has uh met with an ill fate Ooh, how ill she's Possessed by something, and she's been performing funeral rites for fallen warriors. In the is, oh. this in the, is this in the city? It, it, it was in Silver Rock, yeah. Like, like it's in, it's in the crypts. crypts. Yeah, old crypts. It's in, it's in the graveyard. Of course, it's in the spookiest place we have. Awesome. Okay, so what kind of funeral rites are they? Nara, give me a perception she's... check. Either way, she doesn't have the right to, to do this. 23. Okay. Hmm. Fucking Talia. Talia here. <laughs> God damn it, it's no. Talia. Ugh. Well, she, she's injured right now, isn't she? Yeah, that doesn't mean anything, though, because she's Ouch, so oof. fucking sneaky. Ouch, oof her leg. <laughs> Every limb could be broken, and Talia would fucking spider in through the room, and Nara would be mad because she wanted to do it first. Even though she didn't plan to do it in the first place. Anyway. Continue your conversation. I'm I'm going to go ahead and cast the... I'm going to use an, another spell slot to cast Ascending to Pogod. What, I, I want to know about the funeral rites! I'll... I'll, I'll fill Mara in while Denier is doing this. Alright. Denier, what will you say? Glory is still alive, looks to be possessed, performing forced funeral rites in the crypts, looks like hasn't eaten or slept, don't know if we can get there in time. He replies back. Sent search party, but 
given what the men that came back with her reported, this may need to be something I deal with myself. Do I have permission? Glanced over towards Wolfgang. Uh, apparently they sent out a search party, but given the information, Pogod thinks he might have to deal with it himself. Does he have to go ahead to operate? Ah, bloody hell. I don't know what that information is. Uh, fine. If he needs to go deal with it himself, then let it be done. Denier will use his final third level spell to cast Sending and basically relay the information that Wolfgang said word for word. All right. Sorry, what? That's what it looks over uh, from. He he, he 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 report he reports back. Uh, that uh, he will do he will do his best. Uh, the Kylum can't remain headless for too long. Do, for my own curiosity, do we have um, the teleportation circle for Silver Rock? It's not operational yet, is it? Uh, everything's fully constructed. You have that. Okay, so we can, so we can get back as quick as we need to, since we have a, well, as soon as I take a rest and re-prepare teleportation circle. Yeah. Okay. As soon as I get a, as soon as I get a rest, I can get us back to Silver Rock. Uh, thankfully, we've been able to finish the teleportation circle. <sighs> All right. Well, it's better than trekking through the caves for another couple of days. All right. Now we just have to hurry up and wait. The form in the crystal ball continues stacking stones shambling 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 until the spell fades so we're heading back tomorrow yes as soon as possible Bogan's right Kylan can't be headless for long it's... especially now with all the bloody problems we have to deal with I use my final fifth level spell um Denier gives one final message to Pogan. We have diplomacy to deal with down here, but we should be back in the morning. Or at least after we get a rest down here. I'm out of juice and I can't get us back. Hopefully I'll have completed my mission by then. Godspeed. Uh, Nara's gonna watch the crystal ball for a bit. Does any of that look familiar? Uh, go ahead and give me, what would this be for you? What, do, wh what? what are some things that you kind of like, uh, this would be either religion or arcana probably. Probably the Arcana side, because just in being around Solomon and the types of things he would be associated with, I would think something about this would ring a bell. Go so ahead. let's do an Arcana. Go for it. Nine. Pretty dress, go floof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look into the crystal ball and then you're caught by your own reflection. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. So helpful. <laughs> Any information you could glean from that spell is probably the same information that was already uh, stated, basically. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> Love it. Hmm. Would 
No, no, no. Already asked. Never mind. So out of character, how are we getting out of here? Are we like, are we in canon walking back up? We're going to try this. Yeah. Door? We're you have, you have we're a teleportation a circle. Yeah, uh, we said we were going to take a rest, and then in the morning, Denier's going to teleport us back to sorry, must Silver Rock. That. Yeah, the signal or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Now, as far as I'm concerned, how do we feel about the neighbors? As one gestures down one of the tunnels towards where the the the, the uh, you, you you get you guys are in a you're, 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 you guys are in a craft house right now. You're in the middle of their village. As far as I'm concerned, they know these routes, so we should probably also ask them for a map if we could, because getting back here will be annoying. They won't have a guide this time, unless you all happen to have perfect memory, which as much as I wish I did, I do not. No, I don't have that feat. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea, actually. Mm. See if there's Fish. someone that knows the tunnels, or, or perhaps someone to set up a guide to go to and fro. Uh, maybe we should give them the night off from dealing with us. We're leaving in the morning. Let's get that before we teleport out. Let's go deal with that damn... The near Christ. slowly port points towards the, the closest shadow. You want somebody oh. that knows these tunnels? He points at a nearby shadow. He doesn't know if Tally is there or not. <laughs> <laughs> points at my shadow. <laughs> Everybody can go ahead and give me a perception check. <laughs> I'll give you a perception check. But it's not going to matter. 14. 16. None of you see her. Of course not. Of course we don't. Because she's so sneaky. She's built to be I a ninja. I have no idea if she's actually standing in that corner. I'm just pointing at a random shadow. Oh, is that supposed to be Talia? Because, oh, she's the shadows now? I mean, I can see you. I can't see her. Well, she adopted the shadows. <laughs> Nara was born in them. <laughs> literally. Born in them. I was literally born in them. Forged by them. Forged by them. In a crossfire hurricane. She, would, she was raised in the north. She literally didn't see the light of the sun until she was an adult. By then it was blinding. It was, actually, yes. She has to keep goggles. Yeah, I have to wear them outside all the time. They're her prescription goggles. My brand. So, anybody have any business they'd like to attend to in the night? You are left in this craft room. There are uh, two Duergar guards uh, standing at the entrance to this guild hall that essentially are acting as, like, stewards to you, so long as you can communicate with them properly. Hmm. So if you did have any questions or anything, they would uh, send for anybody that might be able to help you as the elders of the clan are no doubt dealing with a lot of raucous from the <laughs> people that are freshly unenslaved. Uh, hmm. Well, would they really have their tunnels like mapped? Yes, I, I here's the thing. Their entire culture, I would argue, exists entirely under the premise of the, that their sky is the land beneath their feet. So they would map out their limits of where they can go. I'll just, uh, I'll inquire about a possible map to lead us to and fro. Mm -hmm. I figured I figured can you, you do uh, it because you're being the de facto leader. Mm -hmm. Do you speak either dwarven or undercommon? I don't. May need a little help with this one. So as you gesture to the two, uh, like the two guards, one of them walks over. Britskinski Punsk. Braskindotsky. Nara, to you, it right. sounds like, what? what is, do, do you want something? I don't understand you. Wolfgang, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to inquire about a map of 
the tunnels around this place that maybe will and help you... us from coming back and forth from here in the future. And you're just going to use your above ground speak for that? Well, I assumed that somebody was going to help me with this endeavor. What an assumption. What an assumption indeed. Do you need help? Yes. Literally just assumed somebody was going to help me. <laughs> the the uh, Durakar looks at you, Nara. I, I don't understand either of you right now. He's very rude. Looks at him. Sorry, he's he's um not very good with manners. So um uh. I I will be translating for his rudeness over here. Did he insult? No, 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 not at all. He just um his decorum is just not quite up to par, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Understood. Yes, of course. I'm glad that you do. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at Wolfgang gestures to, to speak he plucks a gnarly nose hair out of his big dwarven nose mm -hmm. I was wondering if perhaps you had any maps of the tunnels or this large uh, city you've got here to help us from getting back and forth from our home. He looks to you, Nara. He's asking for blueprints of the city, but I think that we just need a map to get around. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, uh, probably best not to give the destroyers something that could help them destroy more. Uh, yes. Yes, I could help... Uh, uh, Borteg! Yeah. Go ask for the stone singer. And the other, uh, the other one kind of like gives a nod, kind of like adjusts his helmet and heads out. He nods. Borteg will be back. He looks to you, Wolfgang. Nods curtly and then walks back to the door. Uh, I'll, I'll tip my hat and I'll uh, stand by. You know, I'm not going to lie, Nara. It's just, it really is wonderful to practice not putting my foot in my mouth when I don't even understand what half of everyone's saying. You know, I like it when you do that, though. It usually leads to an adventure of a, of a sort that no one can plan for. No, no, no. Just the head's already shaking. No, 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 don't. You can't look at it. <laughs> But don't worry, nothing will happen this time. And she pats ah. Wolfgang on the shoulder. <sighs> he just raises an eyebrow. Right, Destroyer? Destroyer? Is that what they called me? <laughs> she, she just laughs and then like walks over to Asmo. <laughs> All right. Uh, about an hour passes. What would everybody be doing in said hour? Daenerys is likely reading one of his, uh, one of the books that he got from Alone the Throne. All right. Anybody else have anything in particular or just whiling away the time? I feel like, I feel like Norris, like, is trying to say stuff to him with her fingers who are long claws. And he's trying not, not to give eye contact because it gives her power. <laughs> the relationship yeah. is about power. <laughs> it's all about drive. It's all about power. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, Rock. Thanks, the uh, Rock. Yeah, Wolfgang would probably just be taking this time to rest. Alright, Wolfgang's laying back with his hat over his eyes. Nursing wounds. Denier suddenly closes his book and looks over towards Asmo. Uh, Asmo, can I speak to you for just a few minutes in private just you and me incredibly foreboding but okay I'll be right back eyes dart back and forth between the two have fun I don't I don't know 
I don't have fun. Uh -huh. I'm not going to charm you this time, as no promise. All right, okay, go ahead and give yeah. me another perception check. Mm, no deception. I'm gonna pretend I'm into it. I said no perception. <laughs> oh me? Perception? Yeah. yeah. No. Twenty-one. Uh, as you're finally looking around, uh, you notice that Italy, uh, that Talia's made herself a little nest up in the rafters of this craft house. <laughs> I got, I got wild news. Gwince and so shakes a tiny fist in her direction. Could someone else talk for like two minutes, real quick? Because my food's being delivered. Yeah, right now. Ab about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, and Asmo just looks at Denier, and they're totally gonna have a conversation. In a moment. In a minute. Yep. Yeah, T uh, Tali is just kind of like uh, set herself up and up in the rafters, keeping an eye on everything below, but also starting to find herself like leaning against the beam and starting to like she's been kind of bandaging her own wounds and resting. Nara sits on Pixie Stick and just hovers upward. She glances over to you. Nice dress. What? What you doing? And. <laughs> Thank you. I feel uncomfortable on the ground. Which is funny because you're actually under the ground at this moment. Isn't it? I don't know. I just... Being you don't up know what? Being up here makes me... In my line of work... Being vulnerable is dangerous, and up here I feel safer. If anything were to happen from up here, I'd be able to act quicker. And while they have been kind to us after we saved them, that doesn't necessarily mean they'll stay that way. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't worry about that too much. No, but from my, it pays to be cautious sometimes. Yeah, I get that. She continues to tighten a bandage around her ankle. <clears throat> oh, are you still like dying and stuff? Well, I was under about a ton of rocks a few hours ago, so I could be better. Yeah, I get that. I'm still hurt and stuff. Uh, oh, let's see. Do I even have stuff for that? Wolfgang! <laughs> what? What? Do you have healy hands? Yes, I've got some juice left. Can you heal Talia real quick? And me also? I'll be fine. I need to be... Nah, do it. I need to be able to see you, and or if I'm gonna be able to do it. Uh, Talia, pop they, your head out. They, they aren't. They aren't really hiding right now. He just sort of like pulls his hat off of his face, and he looks up. All right. He points both Cracks arms. Uh, I will spend my remaining eight. I will heal Nara for four, and I will heal Talia for four. As as you as you just kind of like. It's, it, they aren't very high rafters, given that they're dwarves. They're, it's about 12 feet up, so you just kind of, like, find something to stand on and just hike yourself up. Uh, as you as you approach, Tali's like, no, it really, it's not necessarily. And you just kind of, like, touch her ankle, and it's really not necessarily. Oh, okay, that is better. Thank you. Yeah, healing. Kind of helpful. Yeah, being born with the light of the world has its benefits. Ugh. You too, Queenie. <laughs> I'm right, glad Denier, what did you, you acknowledge. What did, what did you want to talk about, Denier, in this uh, isolated conversation over on the side here? So, after Denier pulls uh, Asma off to the side, he takes a seat on something and glances towards him. So, what's your take about all of this? Like, Wolfgang, Nara, the other me. Like, they're not... They're not... Our Wolfgang, they're not our Nara. What? Do what? You, how do you feel about all this? Well, they are. No, they're not. 
I, out of character, I'm really confused. Sorry. So um, what I'm happened very is... very confused right now. Well, I know that there was a time travel thing, but... Yes, yeah, when people... they... When Nara and Wolfgang jumped back into this timeline, they basically knocked Wolfgang and Nara from this timeline out of the time stream. Yeah, when, when they rejoined you at the Chronosaur fight, the people that you had traveled there with immediately got very confused and started acting different to you. They may be the same people overall, and they are the same people you've been traveling with for a while, but they have effectively well, not... had significantly different well, yeah, memories. It's still, the, it's still the same people, though. To Asmo, yeah. yeah. So that's that's where Asmo's Look, coming from. There uh, you hold go. On, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'm, I'm confused. For my under, for my under, no, 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 no. Hold on, I need to talk about what you just said here. They're, they're not, what, they're not, what do you mean they're not ours? I, what, they went to the, we were on it, we were doing our thing, and then something happened that sent them into the future. I wasn't there, but everyone else was. So right. So they came back. So the when they came up. back... What do you think happened to the Wolfgang and Nara that were already here? That was them, though. Like, that's... I think maybe that's the part we're seeing differently. When I was adventuring with everybody. You. Them. I was that... I think about some of the things we've seen. Leading God, for goodness sake. The amount of things punching into this world from another. But they, yeah, they went up, they adventured, and they t said what happened. And then they jumped back, and the closest they could get to was there. But the situation we were in was still leading us to the same situation that created them going to the future in the first place, so they interceded on it. As far as I'm concerned... Based on what I am hearing and what they explained to me, that they all died, all of us, in one way or another with that, and they jumped back to fix it, and they did. It's weird. It's strange to me, but I think about the strange things, like Wolfgang being a, what, a chosen one of a god? As he's currently, like, pressing his healing hands against the two hanging in the rafters. Oh. The absolute madness <laughs> of what I have witnessed. This alone isn't that out of the realm of believability for me. I'm a simple thief, and I don't really have a head for magic. Never have. I only say things at a more literal string. If you don't think that Wolfgang and Nara are the same people, because they totally are. They just had a bit of a different experience. I mean, hell, sounds like we all did. And in the end, is it, it's not our Nara and our Wolfgang. I, it is, though. Well, they are the, in at least in my opinion, while they are the same, similar people with similar experiences, Tom told me what happened to the other two. It, and it's not good. I, I, out of character, I'm very confused now. There was a so, th basically there was a temporal paradox and it had to oh, be resolved. That's why. I so there's there's two Wolfgangs and two Naras. When, is... when you're you're, you're, you're basically you're talking over Asmo's head right now. Yeah. In character, this makes a lot of sense for Asmo to not really grasp the concept because magic has never well, even his in, even out of character. I'm, just, I'm not fully getting it, which makes it even so. more perfect in character. I just hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We were adventuring along, a giant lizard showed up, and then Nara and Wolfgang said that all of a sudden they're actually from the future, and they just came back to that memory, it was the only time they could. Let me, let me show you a visual representation. And he, he casts, um, he casts a, a minor illusion, and it shows a picture of everybody there, but they're chibi-sized. And then the image shifts, and it shows another Wolfgang and another Nara on top, like, standing about ten feet above Wolfgang and Nara in the battle. Then the, the scene shifts with Wolfgang and Nara 
being pushed back by the chibi Wolfgang and Nara that was above. I, I still don't understand it. I'm sorry. Conceptually, I'm, you're, it's really losing me. <laughs> I, I'm I, sorry, dude. I'm, this, I'm, no, no, this, no. This, 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 this is this is high concept sci-fi fantasy bullshit. Well, this is where I turn off the movie usually. <laughs> Because it becomes kind of hard to follow, and it's like, what? I don't. So I fully, I in and out of character. I just don't really understand what's going on fully. Because I, Which, cause the way I, the way I was seeing this was just like, oh, so they just pretty much had what happened to them, was what happened to, uh, you know, oh my god, I'm forgetting his name, Raiden in the Mortal Kombat reboot. Kinda, more or less. Eh, a bit. They went back in time. They replaced their previous selves. But the previous selves that got replaced still exist somewhere else. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Basically, well, they got knocked out of out of this timeline by Wolfgang Nara coming back. Oh. He he shakes his head a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's. Maybe I'm just thinking about it too hard because I've actually been talking to the Denier from that timeline. Okay, so out of character. Um, sorry, I'm so sorry um, about this, Bob. No, you're okay. okay. Okay, so these people are at, so like, okay, let me understand the context of this. So now there's two Deniers. So, so they're, okay, so I know there's a, the evil Denier. Um,. Well, so we ha so so one second so, sorry just, mm -hmm. sorry I'm trying to gather my thoughts on this because this is actually really throwing me so there are two there's two wolf gangs and two naras and they're both be they're being tortured somewhere no they or, have been shunted from the timeline and just don't exist I don't anymore know, I don't know what that oh so they're not they don't exist then they, they, they don't exist matter. anymore uh, current wolf gang and current nara basically took their spot in reality and they were just tossed out of the timeline they exist anymore. I guess with this, it's just like, I don't know how to respond to this, really, because it's like... Um... It's at that time that the door cracks open, and a dusty-looking Duergar walks in with the uh, guard that had left. Uh, he seems kind of like old, a bit hunched over, carries a very large uh, wad of scrolls with him. Uh, his hair, unlike the other Duergar, which is pure white, his seems to be covered in... Uh, so much copper and brown dust that it almost seems to be dyed brown hmm. uh, in, in like waves and fades as he wanders in he uh, stares around Borsky Bretsk and Skibretsk Nara little help uh, Nara to you you can like kind of oh, hear, hear him from a distance he, he says uh, somebody called for the stone singers That'd be me. Yep. Hi. Yes. I am Stone Singer Lauta. Nice to meet you. I am Nara. You were seeking the ways of our tunnels. Yes. Uh, we will have business to do at some point, and we also need to know how to leave appropriately, so... Yes. You are from the above lands, but... you share the flesh of the lower elf. Yes, I, uh... I have gone on a long journey. We do not do business with your kind anymore. And he looks to the guard. You have betrayed the stone singer with your action. And the uh, other guard begins trying to like talk back to this clearly much older doer gar. Uh, sir, he, they, they helped save the, and they're just like he's just the old man is talking over him and chastising uh, him. Uh, Nara, what's going on? She holds up a finger. I'm not with them. Wait, I? No, no. You, you, you don't understand. Them. She's speaking in undercommon right now. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm talking to the Durgar. Yeah. 
You are not of your own kind. I was raised by Solomon, but that's not Solomon. what I would call home, if that makes sense. <laughs> it is the copper telling itself brass. <sighs> you amuse me. Just kind of looks at him like, in, in what way? You wish to know of our tunnels. Mm. The singers keep our paths and knit very tightly to our souls. To part with our information would bring us he starts saying some words in Dwarven. Uh, immediately, when she starts hearing him go into another language, goes for comprehend languages. Uh, he starts saying words. Uh, how to say disrespect. How to say what? Disrespect. What would be disrespect? Ah, yes, disrespect. You know many tongues. I want to understand. Yeah. Well, come down. I crane my neck to look up there. She yeah. immediately plops down. It's legs crossed, or, or uh, like legs tucked underneath her dress. Forgot. Mm. The Elder claims you have done us a service, for which I may be admitted to part with some of our information. But the Elders would have to sign off on the level of which you would know. For now, no. I can give you this survey information. And he kind of plops a couple of scrolls down and gets down on his knees. Yeah, fuck. I <clears throat> starts looking at a couple of the scrolls. No. 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 Ah, is is this one? Yeah. And he uh, kind of dusts off the scroll and sets it on a nearby table. This is uh, surface level used by old traders. By by who? Old traders. Ah. It is from a time long past, but uh, the tunnels. We're of strong stone. Hmm. Strong stone like what? <laughs> oh, there were granites. So many granites. Shimmering with the glee of their ancestors. Built deep within the veins of many igneous rocks. Oh, to sing to them was to hear one's own voice, but true. You can see him fill with pride and glee. She's, she's just like, going, like, and she's, uh, what are the words? She's intrigued by how excited he is about rocks. He has enthused you with his enthusiasm. Yes. It's infectious. Oh, it brings blood back to parts that has not touched in years just thinking of it. Eyebrows shoot <clears throat> up a little bit. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 
old and strong stone. He kind of like beats his chest with his like uh, closed fist. He kind of smiles. Old and strong stone. Hmm. It holds. And he hands you the scroll. You now have uh, map information of at least a few of the tunnels that lead uh, to your mines and to uh, various surface level caves around the area. Notably, not on this. Uh, actually, nah, this, this isn't something you'd be able to tell off the cuff. Uh, investigation checks from whoever wants to look at the survey data. Uh, I'm already looking at it, so... Ooh, natural one! It's this, a two. Uh, lo I'm the one who asked. So. Look, looking at map data is... almost as boring as reading that one book <laughs> it took you forever to finish to you. <laughs> yeah, she she looks down and she's just like... <laughs> immediately looks up with like that... Well, uh, she's acting like she's not, but like the panicked manic smile of like this is so nice i don't know what i'm reading this is so great go ahead and give me a performance check with that as well then <laughs> oh, i knew you were gonna say it 12 yes it is quite exciting yes <laughs> i uh, drew that one myself in my youth oh those were the days ah what are you trying? Uh, to, what are you trying to insight? Investigation. <laughs> I'm Sorry. just trying to see if if her her tone shifted and she. <laughs> I'm trying to see if she's like fake placating this this person. You, you her, her you, face you just, is not looking at him, so he can't tell. Just just from the inflection of her voice in the foreign language, you can't tell. Oh, that's right. You can't understand me. <laughs> she. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she uh, s stone faces and looks up at Wolfgang. Would you like to look at the map? Blink, blink, blink. Oh, yeah. I'm the one who asked after him, so. <laughs> she scooshes over a little bit. All right, Wolfgang, you can make me <sighs> no. an investigation check as well. Uh, Here I go. That's a soft one. All right, as it's explained to you that this is a... Uh, it's a very well-detailed map showing uh, not only what is... Like, what these tunnels are and where they lead, uh, but also the types of ore and stone in between them. Like, whatever, whatever their geomancers do to survey these areas, they are very thorough. Uh, but one thing you notice as you're looking at it, since you uh, rolled a 20 or above, is that these uh, the map, the uh, stone trails that you took down here uh, with Dredic don't appear to be among them. Uh, and just so that you know, um, while Wolfgang is commenting on what he's seeing, uh, Nara will be performatively going over the areas that he's looking at as if to <laughs> for the Durgar in front of her looking like she understands what the map has on it there are certain things about the map you understand uh some some of like the hand notes are written in under common some of them are wit are written in dwarven runes uh which is something that neither of you understand but Due to your high investigation check, Wolfgang, you were able to infer that these dwarven runes are referring to uh, the various... Uh, there's, like, etchings and uh, what appear to be, like, markings of various metallic filaments among this along this scroll. And along those uh, metallic rubbings appear to be the dwarven runes. So you're assuming those to mean what types of ore are found in the walls of those areas. Hmm. You just don't know exactly what those ores are right now, as the words for dwarf, as they their words in dwarven escape you. Cut out on my end. Did I cut out on everybody else's end? A, a little, little bit. bit at the end, but I got the gist of it. Yeah, basically, you just uh, you, you can't read the words, but you know that there's ore in the walls, and the the map is very ornate. 
and detailed. Oh, that's a heck of a map. This is impressive. Uh, I think it's perfect for what we need. He's saying good things, yes. Yes, he's quite impressed by the penmanship. Hey. And, uh, she she really trounces up everything about trying to match his enthusiasm about the mines and everything. <laughs> Give me another performance it check. A, it is a, it's a dwarf in it. Twenty. Well, now he's feeding on your enthusiasm. That's not oh yeah. Oh shit. That's, That's a feedback loop. Oh, you see this? Yes, I, I went very detailed as we sang into the rocks and it sang back and you can tell what is hidden behind. There is silver, there is copper, there is uh, iron here. Very wow. strong iron. Wow, that's amazing. Right? Uh, so basically he's giving you the rundown of what ores can be found there now that you've gotten him excited. She's uh, making mental <laughs> notes of every extra thing that he tells her about um, that she will then add to it later. Um, uh, it it, it, just as bonus information, you now know there is a uh, a vein of very, very high quality iron uh, upwards uh, closer to the surface uh, towards your territory. And there is an untapped mm -hmm. vein of silver down there. Ooh. Hello. That'll help. She's not, she's not telling Wolfgang about that yet. <laughs> he doesn't know about that yet. I am uh, dumbfounded. Okay. Uh, get scroll. Uh. And since you did roll above a 20 on your performance, uh, he does lean over and whisper to you. And very special. It was very difficult, could not put on the map, but if I recall from my youth... Kind of points <gasps> to a corner where everything is kind of like blank. Uh, it looks to be near a surface level cave. Um, here, let me go to the proper map. Uh, there's a surface level cave. And I'll zoom in for everybody else's sake here. Ooh. Just outside of Silver Rock, over where towards the woods. Oh, oh you haven't clicked yet. Yeah. Okay, okay. Back towards the woods behind Silver Rock. In here, beautiful sapphires. Ooh. Of course, we don't That's... mind that close to the surface, but if you no, sing to a wall of sapphire, oh, the sound it comes back. Oh, it oh. is the sound of the Earth's very soul. I'll have to try that out sometime. Please do. You will thank me later. If I were to go there, would you like me to bring you back some? I could only be so thankful. You would do this for me. Of course. You were kind enough to share this map with me. Why wouldn't I? You are the best of your kind. It is decided. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. What was his name again? I don't remember. Cool. Loken Doken. Uh, for the stone singer, I'll just call him. Uh, okay. It was something like Gaulic or something. I said it once, and I knew I should have written it down. But goddamn, yep, I'm tired. I love asking for names from DMs. I love that. It's my favorite, right, Connor? This is my fault. I walked in saying his name, and I didn't write it down. <laughs> yeah. It's fun until you like, get an NPC named Canada Dry. <laughs> you think I won't enjoy that? It's awful. It's great until you get a. It's great until you get an NPC named Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could go on forever talking about the wonders of this stone, but it grows late. 
and my mind is mine again. So I wish to use it. I do I appreciate. I do appreciate the conversation. It uh, warms this old heart of mine. Same here. He goes to scoop up the rest of his uh, scrolls. If you have need of the Stone Singer Guild, uh, be sure to message. And he begins to hobble his way out. He bows. As a sign of respect. And on the way out, you hear him say to the uh, guard at the door, Why didn't you say they'd be so nice? Out of the way, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> she turns around to Wolfgang very slowly with the biggest shit-eating grin. Uh, we've we've still got the map, right? Like, they didn't just show yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they, they, he, they, he, he left, he gave he left, us you, he left you with the scroll. He's still looking over it, and he, like, looks at her. Good work. Oh, there's so much more. Explain. Please. Not <laughs> yet. I'm gonna keep it for when, uh... It would be helpful for me to tell you. Asma just looks at the camera. <laughs> ben Wyatt moment. I feel like you get mad at me sometimes, so I need to have some things that will be um, getting our out of trouble things. So I'm going to keep these in my pocket until I need them. Uh, uh, Dark Ganon's letting me know that the stone singer's name was Lauda. Lauda. As in sing Lauda. It's all good stuff. There's not like a giant monster under the town that's gonna kill everybody. We already killed that, so. Yes, I'm aware. Though I'd prefer if it's something good, something that can help us immediately, that I know about it now. Like what? Whatever you're sitting on. Ugh. Right now it's a table. Huh? Right now you're sitting on a table. You keep cutting out the minute you start oh, to explain. God, that's yeah, you're annoying. You're cutting out a little bit worse I, now. Yeah, you've you've been doing it all night, but it's never been. Uh, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's my connection or whatever. Uh, I was saying right now you're sitting on a table. Did I cut out again? No, no, no I heard it that heard time. time. <laughs> okay, good. Just to give you a heads up, check and hear you perfectly fine all the time. It's just us. Amazing, oh, okay. yeah. great, good work, Weird. Discord. Good work, Discord. I think it's something in your voice and video settings. I've I've gone through it, but hey, I can check during the break. Yeah. How about this? Since I did technically cause a lot of problems this time around, even though it wasn't my fault, because I can't control how other people react with their emotions. Uh -huh. There's a vein of silver right here. An untapped vein. Yeah. She points uh, at the map. Uh, let's see. I hate using the drawing tool in this thing. It's never very good. But uh, oh, it you're does... Cut, it... You're cutting out really bad right now, man. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, man. I wasn't oh. talking right there. I just drew where oh, okay. the silver is. Uh, it is. Oh, okay. It, it is outside of Flix's territory ah so we get a hundred percent of the profits of that <laughs> well we'll find out who's on it everything's owned by somebody right <laughs> there i <Why> see <laughs> yes everything this box touches is my kingdom that is that is that is that is a grossly bad way of looking at politics <laughs> that is a really bad i'm not even a politician dude and i know that's bad it's a bad look <laughs> <laughs> neither am i <laughs> see Helpful. Isn't that helpful? Aren't we not mad at Nara now? Okay, so stop rubbing your, your shoulder well, against me while you're saying that. Shh. You know, I get mad at you for very understandable reasons. You realize that? No. 
for what it's worth, she talks about it to me. I'm going to out you on this one, Nara. You're Don't you? <laughs> Esmo! Now, now, stop nuzzling me with the outfit, okay? Esmo. She makes the big, sad puppy eyes. Oh, no. This Why? is outside of combat. This is outside of combat. <laughs> I'm really susceptible to her style of damage. Does she have a frying pan and or a crock pot of some kind to hit me with? <laughs> Critical damage. Asmo, take it from a once married man. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. <laughs> I can handle this. Save yourself, man. <laughs> What's hell? She wreath sheaths Tango Muerte. <laughs> <laughs> that was out? He didn't see it. Anyway. Anyway. Mm. So, we've got an untapped vein of silver right here. That yes. is going to be a big spike of funding for Silver Rock. Definitely. And you can thank the Queen of the Ma. Yeah, you did a good job, Nara. What, the hell, what can Punches I say? In the air. Wait, hold on. Silly question here. I'm not going to take your advice here on this. Uh, is uh -huh. is, the, is is all the is all the, are all the mines in the maw technically? Uh, I'm not. Well, I'm terribly sure the queen of the maw sure the, the, the ma, sure the the ma, the... could negotiate with you about that. The ma itself is the canyon that sits between the territories. Mm. But, but there's like under the maw. Under the maw is a writhing mass of don't want. That's where we were. I that's where we were. <laughs> no, you are in the maw. You are in. You were just in the we're earth. In the you were in a cave. We're on. The, we're on the side of the cliff. I get you. We're 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 a good chunk down, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Big old maw. I'm. I mean, you, uh, Nara. You've been down there more than any of us. You would know if there. are veins of ore down there that are worth pilfering, though. If you get that close to the edge of the maw, I think that's a safety hazard at that point. Yeah. I think we best like... focus on stuff that's inland first and foremost. Yeah, we'll get the maw stuff when the sloshy stuff at the bottom is gone. Right. Sloshy stuff. Yeah, it's probably not a big deal. I doubt that heavily. Me too. I just wanted to say it so that it didn't sound as bad. Right. Anyway, this will definitely help with the money problems. See? Money problem solved. Good work. Don't say it that way. No, it's not going to be solved. What do you mean? Why? What? Well, we don't even know how much ore we have. And besides, we haven't even been on the other side of the city. This was just this problem. And now we got to stop by this crypt on the way home. Ah, God. That's what's just thinking about all the work. What? Uh, well, Smo, we... stopping by a crypt sounds amazing. No. And we're going to get it interrupt some funeral rites no. and... Stop a shambling creature together. Last Doesn't time that sound so romantic? Last time this happened, I was taken to the bone zone. All right? I remember all this. Right. I distinctly remember. Um, it was all the cows. You remember? It was all the cows. Yeah, that was a long time yeah. ago. Bloody so you hell. Have to, you'll have Wait, to you don't want to go to the bone zone again? That sounds great. That... <laughs> anyway. Uh, Talia chuckles. Nara looks around genuinely confused. <laughs> Thinking that bone creatures are a lot of fun. That's okay. All right. Well, uh, is there anything you would like to do for the rest of the evening before settling in to get ready to uh, teleport out in the morn? I can't think uh, of anything. I, yeah, don't think so. Um, probably uh, looking over the scroll since it is in Nara's possession she will make she'll fill in with the tunnels that she remembers 
Uh, your investigation point meant that you probably don't even know exactly where these tunnels lead presently, since you got a uh, natural JK. one. So if anything, you'd Never just be mind. doodling over something that you don't know where is where. Okay, we're not doing that. Uh, we are inspecting uh, the finery of the dress. All right. It's Since apparently that's where we're at brain-wise right now. It is very well made. And uh, as each of you settle down for an evening of rest, well-earned rest, here is where we will take a break. Hey guys, Lanny here. I just wanted to thank you for rolling with us. And if you wanted to catch us live, you can do so almost every Monday at 5 o'clock Central Time over on twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Now, back to the show. All right, so you... Sleep peacefully through the night, um, well, what you believe to be your night. And a, a section of time under the ground. A, ch- a chunk, a long rest of time has been spent underground. Mm, there <laughs> we go. Precisely eight been, hours. Now you're speaking my language. You sleep for exactly eight hours and wake up refreshed. Wouldn't that be lovely? Anyway. Oh my god, that's never happened. I know. Uh it, uh, does our, our HP goes up to full again after a seep, right? Yeah, it's, no. I, it does. It, it, in fact, does. A long Amazing. rest restores you. Thank God. You are now cured. Uh, you are now cured of all of the wounds you have. No more broken bones. I can explain it away for some things in D&D. Like, for so- sorcerers, it's like your magics have, like, stitched you together. But for fighters, I don't understand. Anyway. Uh, yes, you awake feeling refreshed, and you have your map. Um, the two guards that were staying there previously uh, look like they haven't moved, or maybe they are different guards. I don't know. Maybe you have racist to mm. Durgar eyes. It's like, you know, they, they, a lot of them look the same. I see. Maybe that one's nose was shaped a bit differently. I don't know. Were you really paying attention to them now you think to yourself? And now you feel yeah. awkward to ask. Uh. <laughs> Aye. Uh, but as you awaken, one of them just kind of like walks out. So. What do you do with your day now that you are awake? This third of the day, everybody gets 11 temporary hit points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bleep, bleep, bleep. So how are we doing this? Are we warping into town? Or are we warping right straight into the crypt? Well, we've got a teleportation circle set up in town, so. <laughs> Bless you. Do you need to talk to There's anybody nice. before Thank that, you. though? Like the chieftain, the the person in charge. We got Why? the map. We got the map last night. I mean, unless you'd like to. It might be to nice to say. Our farewells for now. Well, you'd also say, see you soon. Good to come back here. Talia swings down from the rafters. If you want to hurry along, I can part any messages. Insight. Go for it. (laughs) No one volunteers for extra work. 25. Oh, man. Oh, man. Asmo called it. Roll it, Asmo. Not, Not 25. Dang it. Mm. Asmo, she she is. This, ever since you first met this person, when you were pretend like when you were uh, disguised as the wraith the first time, this person has been a fucking mystery to you. That has not changed. Uh, Nara, mm. uh, after actually talking to her for a while, she seems genuine about this. There's a slight concern about. Uh, she she actually seems slightly concerned about the person that's trapped in the uh, crypt. And she knows that any assistance you guys could offer would be more beneficial than what she might be able to do in that situation. She pats Asmo's chest with the back of her hand. No, she means it. And we probably should hurry because uh, she probably hasn't stopped with her shambling. Hmm. Okay. Is there any words you like to impart or I'd understand if you don't trust me with this tell them that it's regrettable that I couldn't bid him farewell myself but an urgent matter on the surface requires my attention 
and I look forward to speaking with him in the future about our relationships. The best thing is, that's not even a lie. Well, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> if you're gonna be all diplomacy about it, since they did just come out of being under um, mind control, you could word it in such a way where you're offering them the time to recover so that they may properly meet with an official meeting. If they would like to. Give it a choice. Yes. You're on the right track here. Give them the choices to choose to do everything. You're like, is that something you want to do? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's that fine. way you're not forcing a meeting on him. Uh -huh. And you give him the option of being all official and not having just come out of mind control for like months. Send him a DM to see if the fives are right. T uh, Talia actually Who eyes, are you? Uh, yeah, t <laughs> t Talia, Talia looks at you and actually kind of eyes you with a new respect, Nara. Nara's like, queen of them all, bitches. Fair enough. What she said. Are we bitches? Don't answer that. I did. All right. I'll pass along those words. And she uh, just kind of like steps back and gives kind of a curt bow. We'll make sure she's okay. See you on the surface. See you in a few weeks. Now I'll be uh, I'll be in contact. And Denier pulls up what looks like a small silver cigarette case. He opens it up, showing a. A couple pieces of, uh, of chalk as he plucks one out and starts drawing the circle. The guard at the door kind of like shifts a little, like trying to get a better view. Uh, he's very curious about what's going on. Doesn't make any moves to stop you or hinder you in any way. But you uh, finish drawing your circle. All right. Everybody ready? Once I put this last sigil in, it's we're all gonna have to go at once. Uh, Nara will tell the curious guard that they have a, a what's the proper word? A messenger that's going to speak with the chief on our behalf. We have an urgent matter. Blah 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 blah. Talia waves as you say that. That way, we at least told someone, so there is some validity to Talia's words. Uh, okay. Uh, okay? Okay. It's not, like, rude to... That makes sense, right? Denier, are you casting the spell? Denier strikes the final sigil, the The spell goes off, and he runs the portal. Uh, as, go. as the portal opens up and... Uh, you can see through the other end the skyline of uh, Silver Rock from uh, the sorry. window in the Mage Tower where this uh, circle was constructed. This always, I always think about this like it's like uh, the world whole, the whole world flips. Like, how long does that portal there. stay open? One round. Okay, you have six seconds so to six run through. Six seconds. All right. Immediately, uh, Wolfgang. <laughs> Asmo grabs Nara's hand and jumps in. Talk to him. And as you step through the door, you see the door uh, on the, or as you step through the portal, you see the door on the other side open, and uh, the elder and the guard are standing there as the portal begins to close. Oh. Their eyes are very, like, curious, like curious and, like, slightly shocked, but then, zoom, they're gone. She was waving as she left. Uh, a, cu a couple of bo bo you, you hear a, you hear a couple of like boots from uh, outside the room uh, fall as the a door unlocks and swings open, and there is a uh, guard. Uh, one uh, one of one of your uh, militiamen, Asmo. Uh, this one decked out in the uh, beguilement of one who uh, is set to guard the mage tower 
who goes there? I, oh. Your boss. All right. Sir, uh, uh, welcome home. I need, uh, good to be home. I need you to find Commander Earth. Tell him to bring as, mail, as, ma as many available guards as possible to lock down the local crypt. You're the one? Uh, we heard there was problems. Uh, I, I, I think I think he's aware. We've we uh, okay. Dead 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 dead. Good, good, good. She pats him off. Places him back. Good, good, good. You passed the test. Thank you, sir. Yep. Uh, <laughs> is everybody just like walking past him out of the room? <laughs> Yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he just looks at you, Wolfgang. Uh, my lord, I... I, I uh, mm. That a oh. soldier. Oh, okay. And he's left alone in the room. <laughs> Did he, as, De Nier by, <laughs> as De Nier walks by, he likely places a, a, a paw onto the guard's shoulder. I appreciate you doing what you're doing. Uh, thank you. Uh... <laughs> 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 Uh, you climb Nara, down. Nara, tiny two-finger <laughs> salute. Uh, nice dress. Uh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, kiddo, kiddo. oh, God. Yeah, she is in, like, basically high-tier wedding dress. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you, you, are, you are in an elegant Shadow Empress gown. Oh, man. It's something Morticia Adams would wear on a Sunday. Pretty much. Like yeah, the, yeah, it's, yes. it's it's an Adams family special event. Get yes. no test. <laughs> and uh, you do as you're walking through the uh, tower. Uh, some of the rooms are still uh, kind of being furnished as you're traveling down the uh, very long spiral staircase. Uh, a lot longer than it was previously, as many of the uh, mages have done their best to expand the interior of this place beyond its exterior. Uh, there is now a lot more room inside of this tower than there was previously. It's uh, it's not quite as big as the uh, Wizzlestein Spire in its heyday, but uh, it definitely feels larger on the inside than it did before. Uh, you go down the staircase, you notice that uh, people are uh, glancing at you. Some stop to salute. Uh, but you find your way out the first floor of this uh, soon to be fine, uh, soon to be finished tower for the arcane innate, uh, innate and uh, magical studies. Uh, He's as you pulling a lot of tricks to get this thing ready to go. Uh, as you make it out into town, uh, people are going about their daily business, including Oi Guy. Uh, there is a trail that leads, uh, it's, it's the crypts of Silver Rock and the, uh, sorry, the graveyard, basically, is kind of off to the southeast of the city. Still in the hilllands, like, just, just beneath the, sh like, just kind of in the shadows of the, uh, hilltops. And just west of where that little blue mark is on the map. Hmm. As you tra as you follow the trail through the city, uh, leading back that direction, you notice as you get closer and closer to the crypts themselves, uh, if that is in fact your first destination. Don't mean to assume. Well, we did say we would do it immediately, especially if it was an Oh yeah, problem. I mean, time is pretty of the essence at this point, so. Fair enough. Uh, uh, Wolf Wolfgang would uh, find somebody just to let someone know that he's back. Uh, there are there are, there are there are there are plenty of town guards around that you'd be able to, especially as you get closer to the cemetery itself. It does appear that uh, Earth has been informed of the situation, and there are uh, guardsmen stationed all over the place, leading up to the graveyard, and then at the uh, graveyard's gate itself, and about every 20 or 30 meters along the gate line of the cemetery that you can see, there appears to be guards stationed. Just to make sure nobody goes in or out without 
notice. Hmm. But if you pass on, if you wanted to pass on a message to anybody, you could pass it to any of these guards, Wolfgang. Yeah, I, I just want to get word back to the Kylan Diaboli that uh, I'm back, but there's a matter that immediately requires my attention, so I'm going to as uh, you get uh, back in as soon as I can. Have uh, Asma, Asma would like to find Earth. I'm guessing Earth would be somewhere public. Uh, if you're heading straight to the cemetery, you would not find him in town, at least not on your way to the cemetery. Okay, well... If out. you if you ask one of the guardsmen, uh, I, I assume you both tell the same guard or ask the same guard both these things. Yes. Uh, to Wolfgang, the guard would look and say, uh, "Yes, uh, I can relay that message." But uh, Mister Pogan, uh, he rushed in there last night. Uh, he hasn't been back out yet. Oh, for the love of God! And uh, Commander Earth, he's in the cemetery. Presently. Oh, like, not buried there, I hope. I would assume not. Thank but God. But I that. have not Asmo's been in myself as I have been. Okay. <laughs> Asmo's moving. Asmo's moving now. But Wolfgang's still there. As the near's walking by, he made Jarmers up. <sighs> we don't Auto know what we're getting pan. into. Nara. Looks at her dress, thinks about Mage Armor, and then doesn't. <laughs> You've been getting a lot of eyes, by the way. Not surprisingly. <laughs> Every now and again, whispers, Queen of the Month. <laughs> I'm imagining that with the water tribe energy. I was water just tribe. thinking that. <laughs> it's the seamless movement of the hands that grabs the door on the way out that just makes it like, that's how you do an exit, everybody. Oh, that's yeah, that, that's what's happening. As you walk into the graveyard, you notice the ambient chill in the air. It's subtle at first, but it creeps on you like, like a mist that rolls around your ankles and then suddenly begins to envelop your entire body. It's a chill that to Nara is all too familiar. And to Wolfgang, Asmo, and Denier provides a sense of dread and familiarity as well. What time of day is it, by the way? Sorry. It is still morning. Like, you're, you're, you're past dawn, uh, probably looking at, you know, like 10 a.m. Being, so, being underground for so long, your wake-up time kind of shifted a little, but... Uh, you notice that when you step in, a lot. you notice when you step into the graveyard, what was kind of like a, a nice day, immediately feels like you are walking around in the dead of night, despite the fact that the sun is shining down on you. Oh no! Now we're, we're now we're in day shot for night, huh? Not even oh, like you're. you're mm. You feel like you're walking through a thick, chilling fog but there's nothing around you to indicate otherwise. Like, there's nothing around you to indicate that any sort of fog is there. All righty, Denier, I know I'm what I'm feeling. What are you sensing? The sun beaming down on you emits no warmth on your flesh. Mm. Flesh. And this, on this feeling only gets stronger the further in you go. Uh... The uh, the couple of guards that you see uh, and you know militiamen walking around searching, they're shivering. One actually kind of like buckles to his knees and throws up. Does Nara Nara knows what's going on though? This is a sensation that feels very familiar to you, like is nostalgically this Solomon familiar. Solomon mist. It's Maybe not directly, but it sure as hell feels related. Uh, is there some kind of check I can do to figure out if I can discern it? Give me an Arcana check. 23. 
as you feel back to your past, this indeed is a... Uh, this The entire air feels very profane itself. It, it feels the opposite of sanctified. This, this entire area feels tainted by uh, what can only be described as like a, a, a necromantic aura. It is, it is, Ooh. it is death magic. We got a lot of death magic happening here. And it is instilling those of lesser constitution to absolute paralyzing fear. Paralyzing what? Fear. Ah. Hence the guard that kind of buckled and threw up. Mm, mm, mm. Get up, man. Get up. Get up. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Go switch out. Uh, yes, you sir. Head back. We're here. We're here now. Okay. You go head back. Yes, sir. You. Other guard. Where's Commander Earth? He's by the crypt, sir. I, I can't. Uh, I, I can't. Yeah, go. Well, go with him. Go with him. Okay. Go with him. Go with him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> Feels like we're walking through almost like a really intense nightmare. Uh, Remember that time we found a pit of bodies in the sewer? This kind of reminds me of that. That was when we. Astro just looks at her like he wants, like he wants to say something. He goes, "I got nothing to say." That was when we got chased by the rats, right? Yeah, that sounds right. I don't like that time of my life. This one either, just saying. So this is desecrated ground we're standing on then. Oh, for sure. Like, no, no doubt in my mind. Absolutely. Death magic, necromancer, probably happening. Don't know why. We'll figure that out soon. <sighs> I hope there aren't a bunch of cows. Let's go bloody deal with it then. Uh -huh. <laughs> As you approach, uh, like closer to the center of the graveyard where the uh, crypts are, Earth is standing. Uh, even he seems a little shook. Uh, Earth, he stands and salutes. His hand quakes just a little at Maybe his side. Here long, Earth. Uh. Alrighty, well, head back to town, find what guards you can, and bring them, sit, keep them on standby nearby. Uh, Good on you for getting on top of this immediately. He nods and just points inward towards the crypt and just kind of gives you a shaky. Uh, oh, I know. Don't worry. We'll take care of this. Did you see Pogan? He nods and he, like, kind of, like, jabs his thumb twice back towards the crypt. Uh, Bloody hell. Light alive. How long ago? Uh, he, t he taps his wrist a few times. Holds up, uh, holds up, four, uh, holds up four fingers. Earth. Four hours. Earth. And then kind of like wobbles his hand back and forth. <sighs> All right. Let's go clean up another mess. Earth does as he's instructed and uh, walks out to make sure the area is still secured, gathering those that have uh, fallen along the way. As you place the first step into these catacombs... The chill that you felt walking into the graveyard begins to feel almost summerly compared to what you step into. As the darkness that you look into feels darker than any darkness you have seen previously. 
like any light that could ever exist would be swallowed up in an instant in the presence of such a shadow. And as you step into the crypt, I need each of you to make me a wisdom save. Eleven. Oof. Twenty-six. Also eleven. Mm. All right. Asmo and Nara, uh, as even as familiar as you are with this magic, Wait. Nara. Wait. Does my new uh, outfit help? Uh, Saving I, throws plus two. I'm pretty. Sh- I'm pretty sure that's baked into your stats. I thought. Damn we it. Wor- I thought we worked last time. We did. Yeah. So uh, leave me e- alone. Just, just keep talking. I shall. <laughs> um, <laughs> even as familiar as you are with this type of magic, you feel like you are barely able to force yourself through this. You have met the challenge, but the air is so thick and it nearly chokes you with its presence as you step into these catacombs. The air feels dense, almost as though you're walking through icy cold jelly. The cold fingers of ghosts long past feel as though they're trying to grip at you and pull at you as you take each and every step into these catacombs. But you muster forward. And sooner Pulls than... Up Tango Muerte. Sooner... You know something about this? It hums with a energy that it almost feels like it's thriving. Go ahead and give me a charisma check. 18? Not only is it humming and thriving, but so too is the broken vorpal blade at your back. Just vibrating. Oh. As if it's almost in something that would be akin to its own essence. Huh. And sooner than you think as you take your steps, even the light from the doorway behind you, the passage behind you, has faded. As if covered by a black, inky fog. As you walk further into the crypt, uh, you are met with a uh, passageway that looks as though uh, it starts to go into kind of like rows, basically, of uh, burial mounds from floor to ceiling where the bones and discarded ashes of people long since past have been buried. But that does leave you three pathways which do... Uh, would find yourself traveling further into these catacombs. You find yourself at this fork. Which way should you travel? Left, right, center. I wish we had a map for this place. We should have asked if we had one. We are. That was our mistake. That was our mistake. Uh. Can I roll Arcana to try to figure out, like, which of the paths has the strongest of this sensation? Ooh, true. Absolutely. Can I also do that? 31. Unnecessary. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't need to. <laughs> Never mind. Entirely unnecessary, because to Denier, the font of mana. Uh, is, is so easy to read and this particular magic is gushing like a torrent out of the center. It is like a mighty river blasting forth. The source is that way and he points straight forward. 
as you point down that path, you feel as though you shrink in your own boots. The path before you begins to extend in your eyes like a vertigo-laden attack. I'm familiar with this type of energy. Do I know anything that could dampen its effects on us to let us move forward more easily? Uh, If you have anything that could potentially um, either bolster your uh, basically like, you know, give you like a a bolstering of courage or um, I suppose anything that could potentially counteract this sort of unholy magic. Looks at Wolfgang. Hey, Mr. Divinity, can you do something about this? Something about you quaking in your boots? Shut up. No, unfortunately, that's not in my repertoire. Can't you just, like, make your fancy lights and wave a feather at them? Uh, I can I can cast light on my glove, and I'll just hold my hand out and see if that does anything. As you cast it, but... light on your glove, uh, for for a moment it shines, but then is compressed into like a small little outline around your hand. This yeah. magic appears to eat light. And yet it is not. It is. It has. It seems to have no effect on your low light vision. It's not like a magical darkness. It is simply the absence of light. Only thing we can do is press on. Lame. I knew you were gonna say that. Whatever. Keeps walking. Yeah. That's what gets pulled. As you take a step into the center file, I need each of you to make me another wisdom save. Good God. Welcome to level two. Fifteen. Now (gasps) another twenty-six. We do have the ring of Arcanos, though, which does give me calmness of mind. Okay. Uh, you might need that in a second because, uh, Nara, you step forward and you immediately feel like your bones want to leave your body. <laughs> Asmo and Denier, like Wolfgang, you, you you kind of like press forward. This is like you you are on a mission right now. You are diehard dead set on this. But Asmo and Denier, as you take one step in, you find yourself further away from your companions. Unconsciously, despite your best efforts to step forward, your body instinctively steps back. And Denier, you actually kind of like fall to your knees, shaking. What's left of the hair on your face is standing purely on ends. Your tail floofs out like that of a fox. Your claws are bare, your teeth. You feel like death is coming for you. And you will fight tooth and claw to defend yourself, but death does not come. You are in the clutches of fear. Nara snatches Asmo's hand and still yanks him forward. Asmo's body fights you. Go go ahead and give me an Ah. athletics check. (laughs) Both of you. 14. Fail, fail, fail. Fail it, Asmo. No, wrong, 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 wrong one, sorry. sorry Damn it! Wrong, wrong, wrong one, wrong one, wrong, sorry. Where's the... Yes! <laughs> You're able to pull Asmo forward, but he crumples downward. He, like, falls to the ground in, 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 almost, in, in almost a prostrated position. Oh, my God. So she's just dragging him down the hallway? Uh... To a point, with a 14, you're not really able to drag him very far. Asmo, as you yeah. fall down, your hand immediately goes behind your back to the sheath that you have uh, 
the chimera fang in, and you just grasp it. You you almost feel, right. you you feel almost for a moment like you need to cut off either your or Nara's hand from being dragged into this. That Nara, is how stop. that is how scared you are. Uh, can I, as no. Right, stop, uh, Nara! Stop it. We have to go in there. There's something magical affecting. No it's, shit. Uh, I'm just imagining Asma just dragging nails across something. Ah! It's like comedically in my head, that's how it looks. As you try to drag him further, you're basically like dragging him face down in the mud as he's struggling to get away from you. Asma, every well, gang, a, every ounce you... every ounce of instinct in your body is telling you to get the fuck out. Wolfgang, you have some kind of magical pep talk you can do right now because Denier and Asmo are not playing nicely at the moment. Wolfgang looks to be almost cloaked in a like glowing field of like a glowing aura at the moment. It's actually just a glare from his phone. He's looking at it. Hmm. I'm just looking over anything I could possibly do to give them any sort of advantage on this. Denier triggers the Ring of Arcanos. You take a deep breath and you clasp and you feel a soothing energy course through you. Your hair begins to unfloof itself your heart rate begins to decrease and you're able to calm yourself down. You still feel frightened, but you're not too scared to move. <sighs> okay. Do I, do I see a shift in, in Denier's posture? Yeah, you, 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 see, you see him calm down, and you see him kind of, like, stand up and straighten up and kind of brush himself off. Denier, you got anything? I can try one thing. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. We need Osmo. This isn't going to the near closest size as he's as he begins to focus hard at level five I can attempt to cast a spell magic on this particular hallway on the fear effect on this hallway uh, what's the area effect of dispel magic like is, is there like a certain bubble of space that it affects uh, one creature object or magical effect within 120 feet Go ahead and give me an Arcana check, and I'll see if I can. Nope. And is this one of the spells you have prepared, or are you doing this as I a... I do uh... have it prepared, yes. Okay. That is a 16. Yeah, that doesn't really meet the challenge DC of... Well, no, it does meet the challenge DC of this particular chunk of it. So I will say you're able to dampen it around asthma right now. Where asthma, you begin to kind of like feel the energy kind of like swathing away from you. Almost like uh, Denier was able to put a massive stone in the middle of a running river. And now that uh, flow of fear is now going over you as opposed uh, to straight uh, through you. Asthma just breathes in and out for a second. Nara. Yeah? It's like the air itself makes everything I have inside me want to run away. That would be death magic, yes. My bones feel like they want to run out of my skin right now. Nah, it's just being over 30. Don't complain. How dare you? <laughs> okay. Nara's over a century for... old. I know. That's why her knees are always hurting. Basically puts her in her elf 20s. Now, can we go? 
Denier glances over towards Wolfgang at the moment his eyes are glowing as he's holding this magic at bay from, from Asmo. You are more stubborn than you give yourself credit. Focus deep down and try to push through. Remember, bravery is not the absence of fear. But it's doing what you have to, even though you're afraid. Freaking magic. <laughs> we begin traveling down the center corridor. Mm-hmm. All right, once again, the air still feels dense, like everything that you walk by, every grave you walk by, every little... Uh, Every, every little headstone, every little placard, you feel as though the ghosts of the past are trying to reach out and grasp at you. Pull you. Stop you from proceeding forward. But you push onward. You walk for what feels like an eternity, despite the fact that maybe ten minutes pass. And there... At the very end, you see what looks to be a dim yellow light. Far ahead. But probably closer than you imagine. As you get closer, the image becomes clearer. You see a dwarf in golden armor holding forth a holy sigil of life, screaming into the darkness. You will not stop me! You will give her back! He buckles down to a knee as uh, you finally reach Pogan. The air around you feels less constrictive by him as he is using every ounce of his divine will to push through, but you can tell he's been struggling at this for a very long time. In front of you is a mass open uh, cavern littered with graves. There are burial mounds everywhere and there are uh, cubbies in the wall stuffed with bone ash and Pogan sweating his uh, blonde bleach blonde hair you can see at the roots has begun to turn gray through his efforts whoa Pogan Master Wolfgang! I've never felt anything like this. Talk to me, man. What are we dealing with? Something old and something very, very angry. Oh, well, I'm a bit pissed off myself. How old we talking here? Uh, older than you, for certain. I assume. How old are you? I just... You can see, like, a, 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 a loopiness penetrating his eyes for a moment. Asmo's just shaking his head when he asked that. The fuck are you doing? Mouthing. The fuck are you doing? Dude? I'm just... Uh, I've... Uh, uh, you can see the light around him begin to fade as he, like, begins to struggle again. Uh, uh, pulls up Tengo Morte. Can't you eat this or something? It is thriving right now. <laughs> yeah, can't you just, like, suck it all in, though? Like, can't you just something here? You were asking a fish to drink the ocean. Yeah, c- correct. I don't know how this works. <laughs> how far away is the old thing? Where do we gotta go? He points forward. It's emanating from there. I saw her. <laughs> I saw her, the look in her eyes. 
Like she needs a sandwich? There. She looked like she recognized me, but she's... I don't know how to describe it, sir. Deep in the cavern, you hear clack. Then a few moments later, you hear another clack. She's been working at the graves. And he points to the cairns above each of the funeral mounds. Clack. Wolfgang's eyes sort of flare angrily as he stands up. We're going. I'll see if I can weaken the way ahead just a little bit for us. And I'm going to burn a fourth level slot to attempt to dispel magic. Arcana with disadvantage this time. Oh boy. Yeah. 31. Oh! Oh! We love oh to see it. Love to see it, don't you? Uh, for we a do. moment, even Pogan's magic flares back to life. And he sees like he seems like he has new life in him as his uh, circle of divinity envelops all of you you feel shockingly you almost feel you feel warmth for a moment as you stand next to him Nara's squinting <clears throat> eh. you know what I'm gonna burn something for flavor oh shit as he does Are you sure bold but Denier, I like it <laughs> oh, I'm scared as Denier is focusing his magic and aiding Pogan a cloak begins to form around Pogod's body. A cloak of stars. I trigger Mantle of the Dreamwalker on Pogod. Let's press on, sir. And he begins walking with newfound conviction. Oh, yeah. Within his light, you find yourself immune to the shadows around you. And as you step forward, you hear in the distance yet again, clack, clack, clack. And as you approach, you see the shaky form of Gloria as she sets another stone, her fingers bleeding now. Clack. Don't Nara, worry, I'll... girl. We're here to save you. And as you get with as she gets within your circle of divinity, she stops. She looks and she turns. I must make it right. And then she faints. Pogan runs over to her and cradles her. You hear the sound of well, actually, give me a perception check while she uh, l while she lays there, and I assume Wolfgang, you would probably all of us know. or uh, anybody who wishes to can make a perception oh, check. Yeah. Uh, anybody who wants Did to check uh, anybody, uh, I'll say this before you roll it. Anybody who wants to check on Gloria, make it at disadvantage. I'm good. I'm focusing on the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what I was going to say is Nara's going to uh, sidle up to Denier real quick and uh, rummage around in her pocket and take his hand and put something in it. Uh, I feel like you did well with this before, so I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, keep this for later. And I'm going to message Bob with what I hand him. Hmm... Okay. Uh, I will also message you. Appreciate it. Nara, you're able to hear, though. As you're handing Denier this object, um, you hear the slight sound of boot flaps as they 
uh, hit the somewhat dampened dirt beneath their feet, and the subtle sound of a uh, what's what sounds like a metallic um, staff kind of clatter as it walks, and your eyes would be the first to see as a drow steps forth, becloaked in a shadowy cloak. Why would thou stop her? She was almost done. Do I know him? You would know this one. As he steps this forward. This is the guide. As he steps forward, she had almost finished re-sanctifying this land of death, and... <gasps> oh. How wonderful it is to see you, sister child. His eyes widen. And to see you bequeathed with such a wondrous gift. It is such a wonderful day. As the guide grins from ear to ear, here is where we will end tonight's session.